Good morning, dear ho hos. Happy Friday. What to do? My memory, I think, is really failing me. I'm going for the comm event today. So, usually, I have to pack a lot of things like the iPad, the phone, the company phone, as well as our tennis sheet and, an, and a voucher for groceries that we could give to the elderly for their, when they win the lucky draw for bingo. What happened was, I couldn't remember suddenly at around 11 plus after I came back uh, from the date with John. Um, I was like, wait. Is the voucher with me or not? And then I went back to my bag, I checked my file, it has all the necessary documents that I need for the community event, but I couldn't find the voucher. So I was wondering if I actually passed it to my other colleague who was going down. She's a, a little older, she's 60 plus, so I just gave her the attendance file, I carried the rest. Um, I couldn't remember if I passed her the voucher as well. I just couldn't remember and I knew that she would be asleep but then I just texted her hoping that she would reply early in the morning today. I spent a whole night wondering where is it? Do I have to go back to office in the morning? Did I lose it? Do I have to pay it back? I just like had lots and lots of thoughts but just this morning, just like 10 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, I got a call, 10 minutes ago actually, I got a call from her and she said that memory is failing because I did pass the voucher to her. The strange thing is that I really don't remember doing that. I remember passing her the attendance sheet but I'm not sure if it came together with the voucher. I think it probably did. So I don't know, maybe it could be age because I just turned 24. <laughs> So maybe it's the start of forgetfulness, I'm not sure. Any of you experience such a similar thing as me? It's quite scary because until now I don't really remember passing her the voucher. Yeah, but anyway, I've got to head off to the comm event. I have to tell myself that I have to speak slower as well because I did like a few session recordings and I realised that there are times when I tend to speak very fast. It could be a Singaporean thing because most of us speak quite fast but I have to slowly pace myself and I think for my vlogging as well, I tend to speak fast because I want to cram everything to 7 minutes or um, below 8 minutes. I have to have maintain that habit, I can't speak fast because of that. So yeah, if I'm speaking faster, do comment in the comment section below and remind me please. Yep, thank you and goodbye. Oh my god, someone actually said fire or something. Look at this, look at this Yuki boy over here. Hey Yuki! Hi. Anyway, um, tell you guys what happened. So I saw the fire and I didn't want to walk away because I knew that if given the right condition, it was really windy and the flames were getting bigger. So I decided to approach a passerby for help um, to check if she has water, but she doesn't have water as well. We actually waited at the bus stop. Uh, to see if there are other passerbys but there was no one but us and no one else walked past as well so she suggested for me to actually approach the foreign workers they were doing their maintenance nearby and I went over and I saw that they actually had this huge bottle of water but these were their rations like it's very hot as you can see I'm sweating so much and they're out there doing the work so I cannot imagine how hot is it for them they directed me to their supervisor and without even batting an eye they did not even hesitate at all to give up their water. They said yes and they, the whole team came with me and they carried their water ration. <laughs> that was so touching. They looked like heroes as they marched up the overhead bridge and they actually used their water to put out the fire. So I really really thank them a lot. Like a lot of people always mention that foreign workers they are dangerous a lot of bad things like they smell all this but this this group of people they're actually so kind-hearted not many Singaporeans would actually do that but the foreign workers they did it I mean they did not have to care if they don't care the overhead bridge will probably be um, filled with fire in no time but they cared and Yuki over here disturbing me hmm? <laughs> Yuki yeah they did not have to care but they did and I'm so thankful for them <sighs> Such nice experience. Yeah, so anyway, I just gotta cool down with myself as well because it's super hot. Whoa, no joke. Yeah, that's it. Yep, goodbye. You can say goodbye as well. Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, yes, another good thing that happened is that my friend actually gave me this very cute fishy sock. Look at the little fins. And the eyes over here. See, so cute. 
飞山旗。Everyone, happy Saturday! And I'll be off for work very soon, as I've mentioned earlier in the earlier clips that I will be working this Saturday and next Saturday because next Saturday I'm swapping with my colleague. Uh, she's going for a holiday, and she did some swaps. So I just uh, told her that I'll do her the favor, which means in the month of November I will not be um, working on Saturdays, which is also a good thing, I guess. But this is um, really tiring. I feel so tired. Even though there was um, a holiday in on Wednesday, but I feel like this week is very long. I think it could really just be me. Just can't wait to get the day over and done with. Yeah, yeah. Nothing much to really update you guys. Um, that's about it, I guess, because today's just work, work, work. Um, Yuki, Yuki, come here. Saturday morning, everyone seems to be sleeping still. But I'm salty because I have to go to work. Life sucks. 